The following video will demonstrate how to review exceptions in Remark Office OMR 2014. Once you process forms, you will often find exceptions such as blank responses and multiple responses. The Review Exceptions feature allows you to cycle through the data to fix these issues. You can fix blanks, multiples, database lookup failures, unrecognized OCR text, unrecognized barcodes, recognition errors, as well as image regions where you might want to enter comments that were on your form. Once you choose the exceptions you want to review, you use the image viewer to look at the problem on screen and then the data header bar to fix the problem. There are next and previous buttons to help you navigate the exceptions. You can also jump records using the next record or previous record options. You can review all of your data at once or you can select parts of the data to review. Let's see how this feature works. Once you have read all your completed forms, you will often find that there are exceptions on the form, such as responses that are left blank or multiple responses where too many answers are chosen. We use the Review Exceptions feature to clean up this data. To access Review Exceptions, simply go into the task pane and click the link called Review Exceptions. You will now be able to choose the types of exceptions you want to review. Multiple responses, blank responses, uh, anything that you see in this list. You can also search by row or by column, row going across the data and column going down. Also note that before you begin reviewing, you can actually select a column in your data and only review that column or multiple columns. That comes in handy, for example, if you want to just review your image regions and enter in comments. I also want to mention that there is a microphone here in the review process, and that's for our speech recognition feature, which we have covered in a separate video. That allows you to actually speak the responses, particularly long responses, into the data. So to begin the review process, we go up to the top area here and click the Next button. Our first exception is a blank response. So we can see it's yellow in the header bar and the word blank is there. And if we look at the image viewer to help us clean up our data, we can see the answer is truly blank. So to move on to the next question, we just click Next or press Enter. Question 37, which is green in the data bar, has two responses marked with one filled crossed out. So we simply choose the right response, which in this case is D, and either press next or enter on our keyboard. Again, we have a multiple response with the C bubble crossed out, so I can simply type D and press enter. Once you finish reviewing all your data just like this, you can either save the changes, discard the changes, which will revert everything back to the way it was, or cancel and go back to reviewing. Note that anytime you clean your data and save the changes, if you are to process more forms and then go into review again, you can actually pick up where you left off. A similar response appears and asks if you want to start at the beginning or where you left off. We'll go ahead and save our changes. Now our data is clean and can be saved, exported, or we can run a quick stats operation to grade our tests or tabulate our survey. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about the Remark software, please use the information on the screen. We look forward to hearing from you.